Namaste. In this video, we are going to learn about inequalities in triangle. Let's say we have a triangle whose sides are A, B and C. Now if we take this side A along the side B and make it a line segment of side A plus B and if we compare the side C, we can see that A plus B is greater than C. Again taking the triangle, this time if we take the side B along with the side C and then compare with side A, we see that line segment B plus C is greater than A. One more time taking up the triangle, this time taking the side A along with the C, making it A plus C and then comparing the B, we see that A plus C is greater than B. So we see that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. Now this is possible with any type of triangle. Let's say we have obtuse angle triangle, right angle triangle or acute angle triangle or the triangles are equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle or scalene triangle. Now imagine if you have two sides of a triangle whose sum is equal to the third side and try to make that triangle. We see that the sum of two sides is equal to the third side of the triangle then there is no possibility of formation of triangle because they are making a straight line. If we have the sum of two sides is smaller than the third side means the third side alone is greater than the sum of two sides and if we put the sides on the vertices and if we try to make a triangle we see that there is no possibility of formation of triangle so in a triangle sum of two sides is always greater than the third side just think over a part that instead of taking the sum of all the three sides one by one if we just take the sum of two smaller sides and compare it with the longest side, is it the sufficient condition? Just think over it. Now there is a corollary for this. If we take the terms which are, which are added on the left hand side to right hand side, we know that it becomes negative. Or if we just change the inequality sign, we can see that the difference of any two sides is always smaller than the third side. So this is a corollary for the first theorem. Let's take the triangle again. The sides are same A, B and C. But this time we will give the name of the triangle P, Q and R. Now if we compare the length of the sides of this triangle, we see that B is the shortest side followed by A and the C is the greatest side, longest side. Now suppose if we compare only B and C, we see that side C is greater than side B. Now we see that the side C has an angle R which is opposite to it and the side B has angle P which is opposite to it. So if C is greater than B then angle R is greater than angle P. Now instead of C side if we take the side A and compare it with B then we see that A is greater than B. Now the side A is having an angle Q which is opposite to it. So if A is greater than B, then angle Q is greater than angle R. Means in a triangle, if two sides are unequal, then the greater side will have greater angle opposite to it. But conversely, if two angles of a triangle are unequal, then the side opposite to larger angle will be larger. Thank you.